Hi guys, welcome everybody. In this video I want to show you how you can set multiple outputs for studio drummer so you will have every drum sound on a separate track in your Ableton. Let me show you how you can do that. Okay guys, what we have here is contact player with studio drummer preloaded and what we need to do is to spread its signal in few separate channels so every microphone that we have there will be played on a different uh, track in Ableton what I mean is when you go to mixer tab here you can see that there is kick, snare, hi-hat you can process them here contact player but we need to send uh, every microphone signal to Ableton and process it there. So the way you can do that, you see, uh, when I go to kick and I click here, just, uh, settings, there is output option and I can choose uh, where I want to send the signal to. So now it's set to master and I don't have any options here, so that's the first thing you need to fix. You go to outputs and you may have different picture here uh, anyway what you will have to do is click this button add channels and uh, we have like kick snare hi-hat no signals on tom so i will pass that what you also need is overheads and room and another overhead so overhead stereo and overhead mono if you don't see it if you don't see it you probably have it like that so click on kit mix or mics i don't know okay and you will see th these microphones here so it's like uh, one two three uh, six okay let's add six channels uh, choose the first line in this drop down menu and delete existing channels and click ok so now you still will not have any additional channels here so in order to have them you need to close uh, studio drummer and load it again so you see this cross here okay just close it and then agree to save changes i will override it and it will take a long long time before it will rewrite everything so i will get back to you as soon as i'm done Okay, it's been overrided, so now you need to open it again. Just choose the same kit that you used earlier. It's Session Kit Lite that I have here. And it should load pretty fast. Okay. Yeah, and now you should see that there are channels that you have added earlier. And you can send kick signal to channel 1 you can send snare signal to channel 2 and keep on going like that and we don't pro process toms because we don't have any signal here we will use overhead and send it to channel 4 5 and 6 okay and now you can hear that the only sound that we have here in Ableton it's basically kick drum right so we need to get uh, other microphone sounds in Ableton what do we do uh, add another MIDI track hold ctrl shift press T so MIDI track comes up and add additional instrument to it okay here you choose contact and then highlight it hold ctrl and uh, press d a few times so it will duplicate midi track so we need six channels so let's do that okay and now go to every other MIDI track and uh, since it's second MIDI track you need to choose second output here since this one is the third so choose the third output here 
and do the same to the rest of tracks. Right. So let's play MIDI clip now. You see that every channel in Ableton has its own signal from a different microphone that we had in contact player. So let's make sure that everything works right. It's really quiet, but it's there. So this is hi-hat. And now you hear snare drum and you, and you can hear that microphone that's supposed to record snare drum has sound of other drums also, so it sounds really natural. These are overheads and room and other overhead. So yeah, that's the way you do it. Thank you for watching. Click like, subscribe. See you later. Bye.